Hello and welcome to my non-spoiler review for Star Wars The Last Jedi. <clears throat> um, brief warning right now, I have to be talking quietly because it is 24 hour quiet hours in our dorms because it's officially finals week and I just need to be quiet. So I'm going to be talking in a hushed voice but I'm going to edit the video so that it's louder but that's why I'm talking weirdly. Okay. Where do I even start with this movie? Um, and this is a non-spoiler review, but I, I honestly can't even get my thoughts straight. It was just so crazy. Um, my initial reaction leaving the theater was that I didn't even know what to say. Um, people who had asked me for my reactions, I was texting them and I was just like, ellipsis and then oh my god <laughs> because that is pretty much what this movie did to me and everyone else in the crowd um I was talking to some other people that had also left the theater um and they were in the same just like awestruck kind of way um I, it honestly I can't say a lot without um, heading over into spoiler territory and trust me when I say that you do not want this movie to be spoiled for you I mean you don't want this movie to be spoiled for you um, this whole the whole thing um, from start to finish they lead you to believe that something is going to happen and then something completely different happens um, there's so many fake outs and um reverses and just everything in this movie and it it honestly was just it was so much fun to watch especially with the crowd that I was in I mean the theater was completely packed full and probably to capacity um and I was in a clapping crowd make sure you're in a clapping crowd that's why I always like to go in the first two nights because um even though it's really crowded, the crowd is full of super fans and they are so much more fun to watch the movie with because they clap at everything and they cheer at everything and they all have the same like dead silent reactions at some things, which is basically what this whole movie was. I can't even count on one hand how many times um, the theater broke out into applause during the movie and that alone is just, that's saying something. Um, but there, um, yeah, I mean, overall, this, it's, it's hard to say what I, what my overall reaction is. I mean, overall, I did, I did like it. Um, there were some parts that I, I loved, and honestly, I would watch over and over and over again for the rest of my life, and there are other parts that I really wish I didn't have to see, um, or that I didn't, that I felt weird watching, um, but obviously I'll have to get into all of that in the spoiler review. Um, as far as the characters go, they were all way more fleshed out in this movie. So if you felt like they were underdeveloped in The Force Awakens, which I kind of felt they were with most of them, not all of them. Um, they definitely get more developed. Like Poe gets more developed. Um, I would, yeah, Rey does. Luke does. Kylo does. Um, Rose, the new character love her um she gets very well established actually um snoke doesn't get any more developed <laughs> um yeah but i can't say it that much but I, I want you guys to know that i did love this movie um i was disappointed in some things but most of it i loved the cgi um, overall was very, very good. Um, some people pointed out that, like, certain things at certain points, um, particularly with Snoke, they, they didn't buy the CGI, but I personally was like, oh my god, I could not stop. Um, like, my jaw was dropping at some certain things, and there's one moment that I was just... I mean, the whole the whole audience erupted into applause, and it was one of the craziest things I've ever seen in Star Wars. It was insane. Um, 
and I can't tell you what it is, but hopefully, I mean, that was very vague, and I understand that, but, um, let's just say it involves, um, one of the spaceships, um, and it is in the second half of the movie. <laughs> um, that is all I'm gonna say. I, I, that was really close to. Okay, so I'm I. I really don't want to spoil the movie for anyone, but I want everyone to know that you should totally go see this movie. Um, it was just jam packed with stuff. I mean, looking back on it, I. I can't even tell you what the three-act structure was. <laughs> I know it was there, but I have to see it again because the whole thing just, like, was a tsunami right over me. And I think over everyone in the crowd, too. I mean, a lot happens in this movie. So much happens in The Last Jedi. It is insane. It's actually insane how much happens in this movie. And at the same time, the plot line is relatively simple. So... It's, it's interesting to behold. Um, I mean, yeah, overall, I, I liked it. I've said that like seven times. I don't know what else to say, honestly. I mean, I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. But I, I implore you to go see this movie and to go see it as soon as possible because you don't want this movie spoiled for you. You don't. I mean, I'm one of those people who, if my friend's making me watch a movie, I'm like, just tell me if this character dies. Like, I just want to know or else I'm, I, like, I just want to know. Like, I'm one of those people. Um, with, most of the time. Not with, like, movies that are just coming out. Like, I don't want to know anything that happens in Infinity War. I didn't, I didn't want to know what happened in this movie at all. I was dodging spoilers, like, crazy. It was terrible. Um, but, you, uh, let's just say that when I say, I'm not, like, trying to, like, tell you what you want, but I think that this entire movie hangs on the balance of you not knowing what's going to happen. Because you never know what's going to happen. And it's, like, a two-hour adrenaline rush. It's, it's crazy. You, and I, that's what made it so great, is not knowing what was going on. <laughs> like, you know what's going on, but, like, thinking like is this actually going to happen or is this actually not going to happen and then they completely switch it on you at the last second and it's just like <sighs> so yeah I strongly recommend that you guys go see this movie um obviously I will go more in depth in my spoiler review I will try to get up, that up as soon as possible um but again I'm I've a lot of homework um and a lot of studying to do so and laundry so that is college life and i hope that you guys are having a good weekend um and i hope that you guys go see this movie and let me know in the comment section down below if you are going to go see this movie um if anyone didn't even know i've seen the movie and like what their reactions of it were um let me know if you uh, liked my review, um, <laughs> um, give it a big thumbs up if you did, um, subscribe if you want more from me, um, let me know in the comments, um, if you saw the movie, what you thought of it, um, did you like it, did you not like it, um, did you go in knowing about certain things, or did that impact your movie going experience, because for me, I loved the fact that I really didn't know that much. It, basically what they released in the trailers was all I knew um so yeah um just let me know and I will try and get my spoiler review up ASAP because trust me there's a lot to talk about and I need to talk about this movie um yeah well have a good day guys um be sure to check out some more of my videos right now you can check out my Star Wars tra trailer reaction it's one of my first videos um yeah, eventually I'll learn how to link my videos to my stuff, except I don't have time to go browsing through YouTube, really. I barely have time to upload these videos. Um, but yeah, so have a good day, everyone, and go see Star Wars. Bye. <laughs>